Just as courage imperils life, fear protects it. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Our life is made by the death of others. Life well-spent is long. Art is never finished, only abandoned. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Painting is contour with all the ten attributes of sight, which are darkness, light, solidity and color, form and position, distance and propinquity, motion and rest. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must play. Being willing is not enough. We must do. Where there is shouting, there is no true knowledge. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. The truth of things is the chief nutriment of superior intellects. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Learning never exhausts the mind. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Necessity is the mistress and guide of nature. Necessity is the theme and inventress of nature, her curb and her eternal law. For once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skywards, for there you have been, and there you will long to return. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes, so with prison time. Water is the driving force of all nature. Iron rusts from disuse. Water loses its parity from stagnation. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. The senses are of the earth. The reason stands apart from them in contemplation. Nature never breaks her own laws. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence. He is just using his memory. The length of a man's outspread arms is equal to his hate. A well-spent day brings happy sleep. It's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. As every divided kingdom falls, so every mind divided between many studies confounds and saps itself. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. Time abides long enough for those who make use of it. Every action needs to be prompted by a motive. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. The smallest feline is a masterpiece. There is no object so large, but that at a great distance from the eye, it does not appear smaller than a smaller object near. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment. So does study without seal. Damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. 
You can have no dominion greater or less than that over yourself. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. You do ill if you praise, but worse if you censure what you do not understand. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. The poet ranks far below the painter in the representation of visible things and far below the musician in that of invisible things. Who sows virtue reaps honor. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. The function of muscle is to pull and not to push, except in the case of the genitals and the tongue. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. He who wishes to be rich in a day will be hanged in a year. Beyond a doubt, truth bears the same relation to falsehood as light to darkness. Men of lofty genius, when they are doing the least work, are most active. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, and those who do not see. Poor is the pupil, who does not surpass his master. I have always felt it is my destiny to build a machine that would allow man to fly.